Hey, hey, I'm Siobhan, and I love talking about all the things related to freedom and personal growth. And I'm on a journey to redefine freedom on my own terms as I become the woman I desire to be. Each week, I'll share in real time what I'm learning as I do my inner work while creating a safe space for my listeners to feel seen. If you desire to be free and live a life that feels good to you, then you're in the right place for beautiful conversations that's going to support you on your journey to freedom. Welcome to the Siobhan J. Middleton podcast. Now let's start the show. Hey, hey, welcome back to another episode of my podcast. I am so glad that you are here again for another week. And just a reminder, this podcast is all about redefining your freedom, figuring out what you want for your life so that you can go out and get it. And it's for everyone, no matter who you are, wherever you're at on your journey. I am sharing in real time how I am navigating this big, beautiful life, hoping to be an inspiration to you. Please, please, please do not forget to leave feedback on the podcast, whether you're on Spotify, YouTube, Apple Podcasts, leave a review. That helps a lot. And then also don't forget to share the podcast with a friend. So today I want to talk about a session that I had yesterday in therapy that has really um, moved me in such a way that I want to share it with you. And this has been a thing lately as I've been thinking about my podcast and how I want to show up. It really has to be for me um, at this point what is moving me and what I want to share. And there's some weeks, honestly, guys, I don't have anything to say, which is surprising. Or I may be navigating something challenging in my life and I just got to wait until I can feel it. Or also I may just be resting. So I'm thankful for everyone who is following along no matter what, like, okay, I know when she's ready, she's going to share with us. That is my consistency right now. That is what I can offer right now. And I'm being gentle with myself as I make this huge change in my life. You know, like granted, there's been some big transitions that have happened over the last several years. And now I'm in this space, this season, this phase where I'm leaning into more of where I'm at, but also curious about what's next. And so yesterday I had a session with my therapist and in therapy, she said that she wanted to give me some homework. And I will be honest, I do like homework, like challenge me a little bit, you know, hold me accountable. So as we were talking in my session, she noticed a pattern where I don't acknowledge the progress that I've made. And so the homework assignment that she gave me was every day she wants me to write down three things that I'm proud of that I did that day. She said, I know we've only been working for a few weeks together. And I noticed that you don't give yourself enough credit. And when she said that, I'm like, okay, all right, I can do that. And also I didn't realize that I wasn't doing that. Um, but she is right. I do move forward. I do what needs to be done. But I don't believe I take in all of the progress that I've made. I mean, even if I just think about the last several years, my God, I have just been moving forward, showing up day after day after day. And it's not easy, but it is rare that I sit in it and like really take it all in. And so I shared this with my friend last night. And she agreed with my therapist. She said, there's so many things that you have done that you don't realize like what you've done and not that you should be walking around like, oh, I'm proud of this. I'm proud of that. But she was like, you don't even take a moment to acknowledge it. And I have to bring it to your awareness sometimes. And I'm like, OK. And so then it had me thinking as to why, why do I not take a moment to take everything in, to acknowledge how proud I am. And I think it's just conditioning. You know, I watched my grandmother and listened to things that she said. And so sometimes we tend to model what we learned growing up. But I think more specifically as it relates to motherhood, my ex made me feel like because of my mother wounds and father wounds and what have you, there were times that he made me feel less than as a mother, or I wasn't doing a good enough job. And that is a lie. Okay. That's some, that's some bullshit. Because when I think about just motherhood specifically, 
I went to therapy when I was 32 so that I could be a better mom for my children. That was the main reason that I went because I saw how the wounds that I had from my mother was affecting me personally, but also how they would affect my children if I didn't get help. I decided to homeschool my children because I did not like how they were being taught to test in the school system in elementary school. And I homeschooled them for six years with no previous teaching experience. I did what needed to be done. And my friend reminded me of this. She was like, you know, you homeschooled your children. And when it was time to transition them into traditional school, they didn't skip a beat. They were able to pick up right from where they left off at home, meaning you taught them everything that they needed to learn to transition into school. And I'm like, oh, I never thought about that. But she's right. Like, they, not only were they prepared to go to school, but even further ahead than many kids in their grade because of what they learned at home. And the life skills that both of my children have, it blows my mind at times, but it's like, but Siobhan, you did that. I have advocated for my children the whole way through and whatever support and resources that they needed to be better, to grow, to heal, I have stepped up and I've done that. I've nurtured their passions. Um, I remember my son was probably about five or six and we were at five below and he wanted a skateboard. And so I bought him his first skateboard. And over the years, I would, as I continue to watch him like practice and practice, we would get a new skateboard and a new one until he had saved up enough money to buy like these bigger skateboards. And now he's a great skateboarder. It's something that he enjoy doing. And I'm like, I started that for him. I've made some big hard choices for my children. And all I've ever wanted was for them to be happy. I mean, even when I think about about a month ago, I drove to Jersey and then New York with both my kids because I wanted my daughter to be able to see the campus that she was going to be at for the next four years. Like, that was important to me. And I think about all of these things, and I'm like, but isn't this what all moms do? And I, and I know everyone's situation is different, but this comes so natural for me because I've always wanted the best for them. And I'm just taking a moment now to just acknowledge these few things. And I am proud of myself for being, and I am proud of myself for making these beautiful choices for my children, for myself, that are really amazing, you know? Um, I think about the hard choice that I made a couple of years ago with leaving my home and leaving an unhealthy marriage and choosing to create a better life for me and my kids and how for the last two years, I've been successfully living on my own. I mean, I have a beautiful apartment that I've decorated. I got a new car, you know, a job. I'm still podcasting, doing all these amazing things, living my life. And these are all things that are worthy to be proud of. However, pre-yesterday, I wouldn't have thought about it much because I'm always on to the next thing and I don't give myself enough credit. But these are major things. And so I want to document this in real time so that I can come back and listen. But also it gave me an opportunity to jot some things down like, wait a minute, like, hey, and I think about the the biggest thing for me is that I healed my mother wound. Like I healed that and I spent years and years and years in a lot of pain. And now today I can honestly say that there's things that she has done and said or what have you that I'm not triggered and that I am leaning more into a woman who no longer has that wound. And yeah, there's layers to it. So I'm not going to say that it it doesn't come up here and there, but for the most part, like 
I am. I'm well. I'm healed. I'm whole. And I'm really proud of myself because I committed to healing that because at the end of the day, I just want my life to be better, you know, and I want to be a better person because in that I'm better for my children. I'm better for anyone that has a relationship or connection with me because of the work that I'm doing. And so I share this with you if you're someone like myself where you don't give yourself enough credit, I'm going to share what my therapist shared with me. Write down three things every day that you're proud of, and it literally could be anything. Um, yesterday I wrote down, I'm proud of meditating for four consecutive days. I'm proud that I took time out to take a bath because it was something I hadn't done in a while. You know, I'm always quick to take a shower, but I'm like, no, we're going to slow things down and we're going to take a bath. You know, I'm proud of myself for committing to therapy. And I'm just going to keep leaning into that so that I can embody this feeling of I'm doing a fucking amazing job at this. And I have to be the one that acknowledges that for myself. And people tell me this all the time. Like I have friends that speak life into me and share these things. And I'm like, okay, okay. But no, no, no. I got to see that for myself. And so that is the work. And as I share with you guys all the time, I'm going to continue to do this in real time because I, there's something intimate about it. But there's something about when I share like this, how it connects to other people. So I hope this was inspiring to you in some capacity. I would love for you to share with me via email, social media, or what have you. Please do me a huge favor and rate this episode wherever you listen to podcasts. Leave a comment. Um, share the episode with a friend and say, hey, take a listen to this and then let me know three things that you're proud of for yourself today. If you have not yet, please subscribe to my weekly newsletter where I share more intimate things and resources and things of that nature. You can be a free subscriber or a paid subscriber, whichever you choose. All support is welcome. And lastly, if you're inspired by anything that I share today, you can treat me to a cup of coffee, one, two, three, or four. Um, that helps a lot. And you can just support just because. Um, I'm really, really, really grateful. And until next time, sending you so much love and light.